Yeah, pretty much. All we do is bitch, so we get something good. Hey, Mike, how are you, buddy? Hi, you just caught me in the middle of a I'm very tired face. He's thinking about sounding. <laughs> Gross. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's get the Brad reaction. It's going to be five, six, seven years. Their, band, their bandmate brought it up. He and his wife got deeply into it on this show, and I brought it up, and Brad... Just that sounded it. horrible, Brad, too. Yeah, Brad it sounds like they're into sounding. Away. True. Huh? It, it sounds like you're, you're slandering them and saying that they're into sounding. No, no. See, no. the difference is when I'm listening to it on the radio, I can just turn it down, yes, or I can yes. change the station and come back, and then you're talking about something more benign. This man has a very delicate sensibility. When I'm here in the studio, you know, I don't want to, like, run out of the room. You could. I like, I like earlier in the show, you took your headphones off, but clearly you could still hear Drew, because he's sitting right there. That's what I figured out. <laughs> <laughs> he's holding his head and his eyes. Yeah, and I'm just trying fingers to in my hear ears. no evil, see no evil. I've never seen Two Girls, One Cup. Have you ever seen that? I have not. I've not seen it. I've made a... I've done I don't a need to see, we don't need to so see it, right? Not. Why do we need to see that? I'm a very visual person. That's, it that's could just, stay with you. Yeah, it won't, it won't go I away anytime soon. I like girls. I don't want to see that. It's gross. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, the most disturbing call of the night? Disturbing call? I don't know. That's well, a question. We had some cool calls from there. great calls. Their, uh, their fans that have been deeply affected by their music. That was actually kind of brutal. Really most good. empathic call of the night? Ryan and Alicia. And Ryan, we lost. I'm, I'm, that was, that was a problem. Yeah. I'm just glad in those instances we, I didn't say something sarcastic or, you know, untoward before the caller even got going. Like you, if you derailed it. Insensitive, yes. and then, 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 and then you we found out what they were really calling yeah. for, and then you look like a jerk. That yeah. happens sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Well, we all make mistakes. A few times I've, I've asked, actually with the drop, Drew, asking if they had a brain injury or something, and they, they'd answer, oh. and they say, yeah, actually, when I was six, I fell off a horse. Yeah, so he stopped doing that drop. I stopped doing that drop, yeah. You stopped all drops, actually. I've been asked not to do drops anymore. Yeah. yeah. People are very upset, but no one's no one's gathering together with with, with signs. Protest, yeah. yeah, I need Coco. Team time. Coco signs. <laughs> <laughs> Team Coco. <laughs> so what's up, guys? Anything else? To relieve this interview. Uh, no, Thank I you. Think that's it. We're all done. Wait, do, should we discuss the height issue going on? Well, here? my chair is higher, and I've set it up that way. It's a mandate. It's a Dr. Drew mandate. I mandated it that way, especially when these two came in. I I'm actually it. sitting on a phone book right now. Just to <laughs> I, Drew, if I get to ten visits, if I'm this, if, I don't know how many visits. I'm close. getting close. Yeah. So if I get to ten, can I get a little taller chair? I don't have get, to be. Get him an apple crate. <laughs> okay. got, we'll get you a half a half, half apple. Half apple. That's all. To begin just, with. Yeah. It's not. It's not a co competition thing. It's just that I feel uncomfortable with my apple crates. I want my legs to be... They used to use actual boxes. We have white apples. Why not orange crates? Because they use apples. Who's been on the show the most? Who's your Alex Baldwin? You know, it's funny you guys bring this up, because just tonight on my way down to my car on the way to the show, I was wishing that this was a sporting event, and we were athletes, and there are stats on it, true? Because I have no idea what number of show this is that I've done. You know what's great? You're living in the world. Right, we don't know that. You're living in the world, the, 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 the internet yeah. Yeah. world. I mean, like, real. all you have to do, here's call what we do. You guys who are Loveline listeners, your Loveline yeah. fans, and you guys listen to the show religiously every night, I'm sure you know who's been on how many times. I'm sure you've got records of it. Send these guys the info, and they'll and, and get it, it up. Yeah, how many times has Mike been on? That's it depends right. on the year, too. You know what I mean? Because, like, more recently, Greg Grunberg, Jamie yeah. Andy, pretty frequent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Andy Dick's uh, been on a lot over Andy the years. Dick, pretty frequent. But if you look back, I mean, Busy Phillips has been on, like, eight times. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, well, How about this for a name for a callback to Brad Wright. He used to fill in for Adam back in the day. So, what? anyways. Wow. Yeah. No, seriously? Yeah, I believe that's his name. Oh, I was supposed to play an old open tonight. God damn it. All right, All right go do it. Bye. Love line. See ya. Boom. Boom.